Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. It's the Ballad of Gay Tony on the Mysterious GG. And uh had an evening recently where I got to sneak in a couple of videos. I'm gonna sneak in a couple more now to keep the uploads going, but we had not quite finished up, although we got real close, I think, to finishing up club management. That's right. Club management. So let's manage some club. Um, the pace I was going last time, we might get it all done in one video. I'm not going to rush it. Uh, I'm not going to slow roll it. I'm just going to see what happens here. This is this this let's play will be us saying goodbye to Grand Theft Auto 4, which I feel like I've been at for quite a while now. So it's not separation anxiety exactly, but um, yeah, I'm having fun with this game, and I uh, I'm not in any great rush to be done. But at some point, we'll have to go. And, uh, honestly, uh, as far as the stories go, this is the most chill acts. Like, Tony just has a pretty sweet life, actually. And, like, he's got, like, the sweet life of Zack and Cody level of sweet life. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. So, um, it's kind of more chill to hang out with, uh, with, uh, Luis than it would be with, um... Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Would have went faster to go... Yeah, but our time with Luis is a little bit more chill uh, than our time with, you know, the, the fairly high-intensity world of Johnny Schnabitz, action-adventure punk, and uh, Nico, like, Grand Theft Auto 4, the Nico story, a very well-written video game story, doesn't seem that much fun. Ah, I completely forgot about the, I have to get here at a certain time. Okay, well, you know what? We will do that side mission then, because I'm going to finish the club missions during this uh, recording session. So, uh, I'll go ahead and do this side mission now. Hi, uh, Mr. Are you, wait, you're not it, are you? Cause it sounded like you were maybe talking to Luis and then... <sighs> oh, you know what it could be? It could be that there is a stranger inside, uh... I'm blanking on the name of the club. Hercules, I remember. I'm forgetting the name. Uh, Maisonette? Yeah, Maisonette 9. Club is currently closed. Never mind. Uh, well, shit. I could start... I could just scrap this video outright. Uh, what else could we do? I was... Uh, I mean, hell, I got to do it on the mission for Tony at some point. Maybe go check in on Tony. What the hell? I just got, got completely derailed from my plans here. Well, hold on. I mean, there's other strangers. I could do a different stranger mission. Because um, we do have we have a female and a male. All right. So. Yeah, stop. Stop it, you. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm, um, chili for dinner. Made it myself. Tasty, but, uh, still working. At least it's coming out the front end, right? <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. Every place is two dollars as long as you don't fast travel, which is the only reason you would use a cab in this game. So I don't really understand that. Okay, here we are, Bucko. Thanks, Bucko. Shit, shit, shit. This guy says. Sheet. Oh, it's the Frenchman. Luis. Yeah. It's me, I know. Thank fucking God I can see you. Thank you, God. Maybe you do exist. Thank God I can see you. What are you doing down here, bro? This is not your neighborhood, man. Well, we had a little incident. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la, 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 la. What happened, bro? I tell you, it is a bad combination. Chinese opium 
and Brazilian prostitutes? Yeah. No, no, no. You should have gone with the Brazilian uh, cocaine and the Chinese prostitute. After a little bit of light after dinner bondage, and when the pimp comes in, he steals my wallet and gives me a good beating. <laughs> For watching too much television? <laughs> yeah, it's not that funny for him. Somehow, Come on. Uh, somehow I feel my dignity is to me. Yeah, well, I think you might be wrong about that, Wait, friend. You're a guy who just enjoyed an opium laden threesome with some light bondage. Mm -hmm. How could your dignity ever be in question? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> my friend. Hey, man, you know, if you know what you like, uh, go out there and get it, I guess. Me, uh, get back the wallet. Hey, compared to the shit I dealt with today, okay, that doesn't sound so shady. <laughs> Yeah, man, I've been driving around. Stars. I've been driving people like food and stuff. Pretty shady. Well, how far is it? Are we meant to take a vehicle? Yeah, I would say we're meant to take a vehicle. Yeah, and there's a cop car right there. I keep, man, there's a lot, a lot of cop cars around here. Here we go. We should get a decent car for our crime. Yeah. Oh, it's a three-way before the pimp came in, I guess. He was perhaps more dumb than some, that's true, but surely being a pimp implies some perversity, or at least curiosity. Well, I mean, being a dom is pervert too, right? If, like, well... We're gonna subject him to some shit soon enough. Life is an unpredictable thing, my friend. You don't need to tell me. Here's an example for you to digest. This morning, a delicious... I'm not sure why the French guy's friends with Louise. Particularly. The only thing on her mind was buying a coffee, but I made her a proposal. Made an indecent proposal. So she was drenched in champagne, bent over her neck in my hotel suite. Before 11 a.m., she was shoveling cocaine into her nose with a caviar spoon and mm -hmm. begging me to give it to her again. Okay. A few hours later, you were getting your ass beat by a pimp in Mohan. I'm sure it does twist and turn. Although for him, it mostly involved sex and drugs. Yeah, Louise and the French guy, they really do seem to have uh, struck a very fast friendship. Louise is just willing to do things to help people, you know? That's why Johnny Schnavis didn't have a lot of friends missions. Like, generally, if somebody needed help, he just told them, fuck you. Oh. Never mind, I didn't think he was gonna flee immediately. I hope he didn't flee in a car. Did he flee in a car? Ah, he fled in a car, didn't he? Yeah, I wouldn't have left the car if I didn't... Ah. That's a shitty car to be chasing into. We're gonna fail this mission. We're gonna fail this mission. The pimp got away. He got the light. He got the light. And our friend ditches us and we get a wanted level and we didn't even get the pimp. Well, I mean, it'd be easy enough to go reset this mission, I suppose. We're, we're in the right general area. And this time I just don't leave the vehicle thinking, okay, it's time to go have a fist fight with the pimp. No, because the pimp will instantly be in a vehicle fleeing. I just need to know that. Okay. Uh, so, again, we're in the right general neighborhood here. The whole thing will go a lot smoother if we start out with a car. And it's actually a pretty decent car. Sabre GT is a... Pretty high-end car. I mean, this was in... I think 
I think Saber GT or just regular old Saber was in uh, GTA 3, where it would have been like one of the higher end cars. In the various games have added even more fancier cars, but I feel like in uh, GTA 3, like, wasn't the bulletproof uh, car that you could get from the races on the first island uh, a Saber? Am I. Am I nutty, or was uh, like El Burro's uh, racing challenge? You could get a bulletproof saber, I think. At any rate, we'll try this out again. Okay, let's see if we can just skip it. As much as I enjoyed the dialogue the first time. I believe he is over on Bronco, my valiant. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is my car, for real. I just forgot the keys when you saw me steal it before and then wander away. So close to death, I love it. Not really that close to death. This wallet is very precious to me. I need it back. It has a money in it. I murdered a man using it. Pleasure. What is crocodile here? What? Poor so crocodile. Anyway, I'm glad we did this mission twice now because we wouldn't have heard both versions of this dialogue. Yeah, almost made me hit the cop car. Oh, except for uh, very Bud Melman. Oh, I'm picking on him. He's dead, I think. Should have gone with George Goober. Hey, just starts in a car. Like, how does he even know that it's us? Oh, come on, I shot him a bunch of times. I didn't want to blow up the car. So I guess I should have just gone right to the car. Where's that? I can't. Yeah, like I, I can't find, I couldn't find the aiming reticule at all. So you can go pick up your own wallet at this point if you wanted to, but. It's a fun song at this point there. I'm gonna drop you around the corner, bro. It ain't safe here. On account of, man, look at that bloody streak. <laughs> It isn't that safe here. I'm assuming we couldn't get a wanted level uh, during that part, because I really should have. That pistol fire is slow, but it packs a punch. I mean, you see how quickly we took out that car? It's like a pistol. Hmm. The Spanish lords are going to, like, murder you, man. I just don't want to see you end up one of them devious sex stories gone wrong. Like one of them guys who strangled themselves trying to get off. So a million like you coming out to the point is almost a suicidal. We could end up like that guy who was trying to help people by paying Nico to kill them and then take credit. Manny, that was his name. I know about him somehow. Yeah, like this neighborhood is supposed to be a Latin neighborhood, but apparently it's not specifically the Dominican neighborhood because... It does seem like uh, his uh, Luis's friends and his mom are up in the north part of whatever island is supposed to be Manhattan. So where are we You're taking him all the way back to Manhattan? Oh no, we're not. We're just taking him. Hey, I'm going to leave you with a friend of mine named Roman. Roman Beric. Yeah, we're playing uh, playing some Johnny Schnabitz music now. This 
is where I'm leaving you. You still might get robbed around here, but they won't kill you. There you go. Adieu, dear boy. It's been fun. Mm-hmm. All right, well, there you go. So, uh, I guess I'll head back to do a manual save because we did accomplish a mission. Hey, it's barely finished telling me to make a U-turn before I got it done. That's how efficient I am following the directions I didn't need because I just checked the map manually. Hey, I can drive a car just as good as I drive a motorcycle, man. I'm in a cage. That's what I meant to say, damn it. This music is making me think of Johnny Schneewitz's Action Adventure Punk. Man, you get some speed going in this game if you, uh, weave through traffic a bit. And it doesn't usually work out for you that well, um... I see her. There's the uh, fighting club, I think, was there? Or is it a drug mission? Or I don't know what it was. Alright, so now we can time it. We can be a little bit more intelligent about it this time and time it so that we... Uh, Emerge back into the real world uh, at nighttime when uh, Maze at 9 would actually be open. And again, we just got so much ammo for our super guns here. Yeah, the drug missions basically served as something for me to do, and they gave us a little bit of stuff, like footage, but uh, I'm starting to think the money is going to mean more than the guns because. Uh, we haven't been in a lot of situations where, uh, well, I guess I've been doing club missions and stuff, like where we need guns. We'll need guns when we get back to the main story missions, but kind of by having pickups for really good guns and having gotten money out of it, like, we've solved the same problem twice, you know? There's not that much to use money for other than guns, and we don't need to spend a lot of money on guns now because, you know... Try to get your uh, bike, dude. And you can go to hell. Hey, there's been a lot of fucking rallies. Rallies? You mean like the uh, burger chain? Sorry. The burger chain around these parks called rallies. You gotta eat. Like right their, their theme song at the commercials goes, you gotta eat. You gotta eat. And it goes on from there, but that's the opening. You gotta eat. And I'm like, I was always thinking like, well, yeah, you gotta eat something. You haven't really sold me on the fact that I should be eating your food. Coming soon, guys. I changed my icon because of something that came up during a recording uh, for uh, Let's Play Together, even though it's a one-player game, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night over on Bobo's channel. But, um... Yeah, rallies trying to sell you on their food just reminded me that Hulk Hogan's Pasta Mania really revolutionized the food service industry with their idea that they would offer you a menu of items. You would pick which one you wanted to eat and they would prepare it for you. Not, I mean, before Hulk Hogan came along, nobody thought of approaching restaurants that way. But uh, you'll, you'll learn more in Bloodstained uh, Ritual tonight. <laughs> I think I'm going to see about this other mission rather than... What? Oh. Fine, sorry. Hey, boss. Rather than actually doing club management, I'll go find this other stranger now because we figured out that's why I couldn't do this before. Everybody's looking at me. I don't hear words they're saying. 
Ooh, the shadows in my mind. Okay, uh, maybe it's somebody on this floor. I want to start a champagne drink off. I want to encounter. Maybe I start a champagne drink off to get this mission going. Yeah, I'm not sure what this mini game is about, but I went to where I thought the stranger mission would be, and this is what it told me to do. This isn't really that interesting, is it? Like they're, I guess they're trying to create the fun of going out with friends to a club in a solo video game experience. Am I losing to this guy? That's no good. They're drinking too fast. Yeah, I thought I was going to lose to this guy because he seemed to be making good progress. But then it said you're drinking too fast. Oh, he'll drink all of the champagne. Okay, so I'm drunk. And uh, this mission, whatever it is, is still here. So that wasn't what I was supposed to do. I'm trying to climb down, uh, but I'm a business psycho. Alright, well, I haven't quite figured out how to... Okay, that was kind of fun. He fall down the stairs after saying, Tony's got a drug, he's a drug dog, he got a problem, I just like to drink. But, um... What I'm not figuring out here is, uh... Okay, so I can't go back there. This place only has two stories, so where, uh... Well, I don't know. Tell you what, we don't have enough time left to do, uh... Nah, screw it. We'll do, uh, we'll start club management, we'll just, we'll, it'll segue into next time. Because what I want to do then is, uh... I'm just gonna, like, check a walkthrough and see, well, where am I supposed to go to meet the stranger? Because they don't seem to be here. What a party it is to blast. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, the place only has two floors. There's no, uh... There's no downstairs that it could be at. I've searched for people at that place. I don't seem to be allowed to run right now, which is odd. I tell you what, we'll, we'll call it just a little bit on the early side, uh, and I'll try to figure out why I can't get this to trigger. Uh, but when we come back next time, we'll either do a stranger mission or we'll do some club management. But either way, I think we'll be wrapping up this uh, kind of side silly content fairly soon. Um, We'll be working on that kind of stuff next time, but uh, we're gradually running out, and we'll be getting back to the main story at some point. I promise. Bye for now.